Hello and welcome to Molly's Motif. This is Emily and this week we are starting a new challenge over at Bitten by the Bug and it's all about pumpkins. We want you to use a pumpkin on your projects. It doesn't have to be a Halloween card, it can be a fall card, um, but we just want to see, you know, there's so many different pumpkin cuts on different cartridges out there that we just want to see, um, you know, just a fun pumpkin on your cards or layouts or projects. And so I'm going to be pulling from the Celebrate with Flourish cartridge. Love this cartridge. It's great for all of the different holidays and um, seasons in the year. And let's see, I'm going to be using the pumpkin from this cartridge and he's just super happy. And I love this cartridge just because I love the flourish. I love the swirls and, you know, kind of the, yeah, just the curls and the, the swirls on this cartridge. So I really like this one, but yep, it goes through the whole year. New Year's, Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, there's springtime, um, Father's Day, Mother's Day, there's some birthday cuts, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, just a great cartridge for all the holidays. So if you don't have this one, I would get that one too. <laughs> I don't regret having this one in my library. Um, and so the pumpkin, find him here. Um, it was really simple to put together. You just have your base cut and then um, the shift base is the shadow and then you have a layer one which is the orange pumpkin and then your layer two which is the green leaf. So here is my little cut and I cut him out at two inches so he's a little bit smaller um, but that's how he turned out and I just think he's so fun. So the black, yeah the black is just the base cut and then um, the orange, the green, and the shadow, and I use kind of a gray shadow. So anyway, turned out pretty cute. Um, so really easy. Some of the cuts are a little trickier on that cartridge, but you know, you work with it and you can figure it out. So I'm going to be starting just with a black A2 card. I hope you'll be able to see it against my desk here. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the black, and then I've got some pattern paper, just some fun, it's kind of a yellowy orange um, and black polka dot. And that paper, it comes from, I don't know where, I got it from my sister-in-law, so I don't know where she bought this, but this is kind of the header. It was just a, there were 12 sheets um, of Halloween pattern paper, and it's the scrapbooking company. But, you know, there's the polka dots, there's two pumpkin sheets, there's spider webs and bats and can I love the candy corn. I think that's really cute. And then they have some, you know, just some orange and black striped and then just some solid colors. It's really thin paper. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this paper. I think the pattern is really cute, but it's so, it's almost like tissue paper. It's so thin. Um, but I'm not going to complain because my sister-in-law gave it to me and I was really happy to get it from her. So... That's where my pattern paper is coming from, um, my base mat, and then I've also, this pumpkin paper is also coming from that same pack. And I cut out a black mat behind it to set it apart a little bit. So that'll be kind of where that goes. And then I have just a scrap of some black and white hound's tooth that I'm going to be putting at the bottom of the card like this and then my fun little pumpkin I'll put him up on some foam tape I did think about the action wobble but I think I'm just gonna do foam tape on this card and he'll go up in the mid middle so it's kind of a 3d effect from you know he's popped out of the paper kinda like that and then along the side of this mat here I'm gonna I've got some black and white polka dot paper and it comes and it's it's from this paper here um, that comes from our collections at Michael's. It's just like the all seasons pack. And I just cut a little strip of the black and white polka dot. So that's how, that's where this comes from. And then my stamp, my sentiment, it's Happy Halloween. And that'll go down here. And that is from a Fiskars set, um, a holiday Fiskars set. And it's got all the different holidays. I actually, t I put them in a CD case because it was, it's the only set that I've ever done this with um, just because it was easier to to store. Um, but they have some fun. There's like a trick-or-treat. There's this fun boo stamp and then I've used 
this happy Halloween up here. I really like the kind of the fun font on that. So that's where my stamp's coming from. And then I am going to put some ribbon just down there just to kind of set the two apart. And it's just this, um, I think it's from Michael's. It's just that really, it's like, I think it's even less than a dollar, the, um, the ribbon that you can get at Michael's. It's just some simple black ribbon. And then I'm probably going to put some brads down on my sentiment paper. I haven't decided if I'm going to do two on each side or just one. So I'll figure that out. But yeah, I'll probably, I'll put some brads up there. So very simple, very easy card to put together. So I'll go ahead and get this all adhered and then I'll come back and show you how the inside turned out. Okay, so here's my card. I got everything put together. I really like how it turned out. It's different than anything that I've done. So um, I'm really excited about it. And I went ahead and popped up this square mat on um, some foam tape as well as my pumpkin. So there's a little bit more dimension. And then my sentiment is also up on some foam tape. And I did use Memento Tuxedo Black ink for my sentiment. And I decided on just the one brad on each side instead of the two brads. It probably would have looked cute either way, but I just decided on the two. If I can open it. And then I just kind of kept the same layout on the inside. So... Um, the same background paper and the same polka dot down the side. I did want to do the pumpkin instead of the hound's tooth. I just like these images and I wanted to carry those over from the front. So, um, that's a little bit different, but, um, my mat just, you know, plenty of room to write a happy Halloween message. I didn't have, um, a stamp that I wanted to stamp on the inside, but you could easily find something that you wanted to, to do for that. And I think it just turned out really cute. So, I hope that you were able to join us this week over at Bitten by the Bug 2 for our Use a Pumpkin Challenge to use, you know, any sort of um, Cricut cut on a card or a layout or home decor project. Um, there's so many cute images out there on all the different cartridges with pumpkins, so I'm anxious to see what you come up with. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I'd appreciate any comments or feedback that you have for me. You can always check out my blog, mollymugsblog.blogspot.com. And we will catch you next time.